Good morning, friends. Welcome to my fall morning routine as an elementary school teacher. I start my day bright and early. Well, not really bright, but very early at 4.30 every morning. When I get up, I look a little discombobulated, so I always stretch to try to wake myself up a little bit and, of course, take a quick peek at my phone before finally deciding that it is time to get up. My cats are a big part of my life and they really love to follow me around in the morning, so you will see them a lot in this video. After finally getting out of bed, I come into the bathroom to take a look at myself, try to wake up a little more, and my cats are right there, ready to party. I always turn on the water for them in the morning because usually they have had all their water through the night and they're kind of thirsty. I put my hair up, that way it's out of my way while I'm getting ready because we have a lot to do. The very first thing I do in the bathroom is splash some cold water on my face to help shock my body awake because I am usually a zombie at 4.30 in the morning. So I'm now awake with my cold water, drying my face off. That way I can be more alert while getting ready. And I told you, it's 4.30. Okay, so now that I'm awoken, I'm feeling more awake, it is time to go to the gym. Yes, I go to the gym at 4.30 in the morning, I know that that's crazy, but I do not have the energy when I get home from teaching, so it happens this early. So I change into workout clothes, I try to sleep in them, but this day I decided not to. And then I go over to the kitchen to fill my water bottle. I have this really great little filter in my fridge, which is awesome, and I just fill it up. Here's my cat trying to take a sip of the water, but he didn't get what he wanted. Now that my workout clothes are on and my water bottle is full, I go ahead and put on some socks and gym shoes and I'm fully ready to go start my workout. The gym that I go to is just the gym in my apartment building, so all I need to do is grab my keys and my mask, I have my water bottle, and I'm going to make my way there. I lock up my unit to make sure that everyone stays safe while I'm at the gym and I head over. Usually at 4.30 in the morning, there's no one else there, but I always bring my mask in case I do see someone. I always start my gym workouts with a stretching session. It's super important to stretch your body in the morning and before a workout. So I always do this to help wake my body up because it has not had any physical activity yet and just slowly get it used to the fact that we're about to do a lot of physical activity. I use the Alive by Whitney app to do my workouts. So we're doing a circuit workout today. There was no one in the gym with me on this day, so I did not wear a mask. But if there was someone there, I would have. I always end my circuit workouts with a walk or a jog, depending on how energetic I'm feeling. On this day, I guess I was feeling somewhat energetic, so I did a little jog. Usually this lasts about three to five minutes just to end the workout. Take a sip of my water, turn off the machine, and it's time to head back to my apartment. Now that I'm home, I'll hang up my keys in my mask and head right into the kitchen to find some breakfast. I 
always eat after my workout because I'm usually starving and this way I can just fuel my body after a nice little workout. I usually try to reach for something healthy like a fruit or a yogurt or sometimes I make a smoothie. Today I decided to eat a banana and sit on the couch while I ate. This is usually the first time that I fully get a chance to look at my phone is when I'm eating breakfast and my cats usually like to join and try to steal some of my food, but they don't ever win. After eating, I go into the bathroom to take a quick shower. Depending on how dirty my hair is, I'll wash my hair or I won't. And that way I can feel nice and fresh for the day ahead. After taking a quick shower, I'll head into my closet and I change in there, that way it's not too bright while Rob is still sleeping. This day was kind of chilly, so I put on one of my favorite pairs of jeans and a big fall sweater that I love so much. After getting dressed, I head into the bathroom to brush my teeth. Once I've brushed my teeth, it's time to do my hair. Sometimes I do my hair in the bathroom, but other times when I have a good amount of time in the morning still, I like to sit at my desk and watch something while I do my hair. It's kind of a little treat for myself and it's a little change of scenery. I also use my big window as a mirror because it's dark outside and I can kind of see myself through the glass. This day I decided to curl my hair with a straightener and I think I decided to use this camera viewfinder as a mirror so sorry if I'm creepily staring at you but I was probably watching YouTube, curling my hair up, checking to make sure it looked okay, using the mirror aka the window and I finished. Now that my hair is all curled I head back into the bathroom do a tiny bit of skincare, aka I just moisturize my face because your girl doesn't know that much about skincare. So if you want to give me those tips, leave them below. I probably need them. Some days I put on a full face of makeup, other days I wear nothing. Today I decided just to wear mascara. It really depends on how I'm feeling, how much time I have left, and what I want to be doing that day. Also, I'm super blind, if you couldn't tell by my very thick glasses, so the mirror has to be really close to my face when I put on mascara. I do a little dance because I'm finally almost done with getting ready. Check my hair for the millionth time. I know we all do this. And then I go ahead and make myself smell a little nice. I really love using the sprays from Bath & Body Works. This one is just a citrusy smell. After getting ready, I go and I say goodbye to Rob because I won't see him again until probably 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. It's a long day away, but it's nice that he wakes up to say goodbye. Then I head back into the kitchen to grab my lunch. Most nights, Rob packs my lunch for me, which is super, super lovely, and I'm so grateful for that. So usually I don't have to do anything. My cats like to jump into the fridge because they're super weird, so I always have to get them out to make sure that they don't spend the day in there. I grab my school bag and my lunch. I double check that I have everything ready to go. Put my lunch in my bag so it's easy to hold everything. I put on my shoes, I say goodbye to my cats, as you can tell they've been full of energy this whole morning, but I'm not going to see them for a while. And then I head out the door. Thank you all so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed this fall morning routine, and I'll see you in the next one.
keep spreading positivity, friends. Thank you.